Right, so we're here on the um, stand with Horizon Mobility and uh, Graham and his team have been with our website from the very start really. Uh, Graham's a member of our um, mobility advisor team and we're going to look at today um, Horizon produce a very specialised um, scooter, heavy duty scooters. Um, so we, we looked at the Prides range earlier, the small portable scooters, four mile an hour, they do an eight mile an hour scooter um, for use on the road. Now the, these products are, uh, are much more specialised, much more sort of robust in their build quality. Um, we've got the the, uh, the Mayan here which is an incredible thing and we'll get Peter to talk you through some of the features on that but just looking at the range Peter, you obviously you start with a smaller scooter, the, the Saxon. Correct, yes. Um, which is for everyday use really. You can go shopping, you know, get answers, take the kids to school and what have you. Um, and it's a road going machine. So obviously it'll do four and eight miles an hour. Uh, it comes kitted with its lights and indicators, mirrors, etc. to be road going. Um, from the Saxon, it, then there's a, a scooter, which is, it looks very similar in design. It's called the Aztec. But obviously it's got greater specification. Um, and from the Aztec, you come up to the, the Mayan, which we're looking at here. Um, this is actually, you're looking at um, a unique machine here. Every scooter in the world has a DC motor. This one is the only one in the world with a three-phase AC motor fitted. Okay. Um, and that's why we call it the AC model. And AC well, motors were, have come from an industrial application. Well, that's the background, really, that. yeah, in industry. But there's a company who have developed the AC motor small enough that we can actually fit it onto our machine. Um, incredible power and incredible torque. Uh, this, not this particular machine, but a machine very much like it, fitted with the um, AC motors as Climat Snowden. And right, it, okay. it didn't even know it was doing it. You know, it's just incredible. So for getting people out into the mountains and hill walking, you know, this really is up to the job. It's uh, Absolutely. a specialist bit of kit for that. And if they want to take the, uh, a picnic for the day, we can put a tow bar on the back and they can pull a trailer as well. Again, this machine uh, wouldn't even notice. And a imp very important point, these machines are so strong and so well made, British built, um, at uh, our factory in Cheltenham in Gloucestershire. Now, you can have a very large person sitting on this machine and it'll still perform in exactly the same way as if you and I were on there. Uh, it, it will actually, it's the strongest scooter in the world and it'll carry a 65 stone person. Really? Not on that seat. We'd yeah. have to put a bigger seat on. Um, but the tubing but and the chassis and the, the motors are up to that. This machine will, will take that weight. Um, and it's got very big springs on it. It's independent suspension, by the way, on each wheel. But the springs on the back, which is where all the weight is, because the batteries are under the seat there. Um, and obviously that's where the person is sitting. And the motor transaxle is all um, under that seat area. So the springs on the back are obviously a lot more stronger, a lot stronger than the ones on the front. Uh, and they can be adjusted because every scooter is made custom made to the requirements of the client. Okay, we found that on the site people like you've done some with um, crazy colors and camouflage oh, and pink and I wish you hadn't mentioned camouflage because that was a pain. Um, the chap wears camouflage outfits. Right. He yeah. lives out in the countryside. So he wanted his scooter to match his image. He wanted the camouflage paintwork, which is very difficult to do because it's powder coat. Okay, many layers on here. Um, so to do his particular scooter, it had to have a base color and then the rest of it had to be hand painted. Really? So we don't encourage that. <laughs> is there a typical but, is there a typical buyer though for this this obviously specification of scooter? Is it is it sort of you know younger people? Is it people from you know we get a lot of inquiries from people who've got fine land? Maybe people who are farmers and still got a lot of land and they want to get out. Is there or is it just a room a real mixture of, of well, buyers? It makes the older person feel young because. This machine turns heads when it's out and about. I mean, people look at it flying by um, and coping with difficult terrain, etc. So it does attract um, a great interest. But younger people also like it because we, we sort of describe it as being quite a funky machine. Yeah, um, it's cool. And it uh, cool. because of the design of it. And what's the top and speed? 
I'm I'm not to tell you that. Can we turn the mic off before oh, I tell I, you it, I heard, it'll do 20 miles an hour? I've heard 15, <laughs> it'll do 20 with that. Well, we build it, we calibrate it, so I've actually sat on one of these machines doing 20 miles an hour, <coughs> and it's scary. Yeah. Um, so we don't send them out. There's a, a yellow switch on the dashboard there. Uh, yeah. That's, we call that mode three. This is a road going machine, so it'll do four, eight. and it'll do up to eight miles an hour. But if you're off road, and that's why we put a disclaimer <laughs> on the dashboard here. Right. We actually state. Mode three mode may be used on private land. Good man. <laughs> and we repeat it further down. Right, okay. Because if the police will stop you on the public highway at 15 miles an hour and you are speeding, you are acting irresponsibly and you're breaking the speed limit. So that's why we have to put that on there. So on private land or off-road, you can use mode three. Okay. And obviously, um, you know, a scooter of this specification, you know, is, is, is obviously quite a big investment for, for people. Yeah. How, how do people buy through Horizon? Would they come and try the, try the product or experience Well, that's where it? I come in. Because when I, I mean, I had a gentleman this morning who rang in. Um, he's desperate to go off-road with his machine. Um, he can't do it with his present scooter. He went onto the website saw what this machine potentially can do so I've arranged to go and see him next week um, I'm going to his home and he I'm going to take one of these along with me right so we're going to try the scooter out in the environment that he wants to use it that's important yeah people will say to us I'll come to you in Cheltenham but what's the benefit of that because they'll only be able to try it up and down the road yeah like a I normal would track I would prefer with no obligation whatsoever yeah but I'm very proud of this machine I'm very passionate about it I can tell it. that Peter. and um, I love to take it to the home and we'll often travel in my van we'll take the scooter and I'll take the client a potential client to the wooded area or the country park where they want to use this scooter um, and we just have some fun Brilliant. and they're always, always, um, there's no exception, they're always impressed. And it always does far more than they expect it to do. Yeah. So yeah, it sells itself. Okay, well, if you've got any other questions about the, um, the Horizon range and you're looking for a, a, a scooter that offers a lot more, please um, get in touch with us through the website or have a uh, look on the Horizon website. Um, and, you know, if you've got questions, just, just um, get in touch and I'm sure Peter can help you. Absolutely. Thanks a lot for your time, Peter. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay.